So one of the biggest factors with goat toys is to make sure you look at it and say, hey, how can I kill myself on it? Break my goat leg. Injure myself if I were a goat. Is this opening gonna be small enough to get a hoof stuck in between or a head or close up all areas to make sure that your goat's not gonna hurt themselves in it? You're also gonna check the stability. Is it gonna rock back and forth if they're jumping and playing, jumping and playing, jumping and playing? it's gonna handle a couple goats. We're gonna need some horsepower to bring this stuff over to their goat paddock since it is really heavy, made by pressure treated wood, four by fours everywhere, some skids so it's easily moved. So we're definitely gonna need a tractor or some kind of machine to haul it over to the goat paddock. As you can see, he was able to get the forks underneath the couch and he's moving it into the paddock. Now this is great because if we ever needed to move this couch for any reason once it's in their paddock, we could pick it up and move it to a different area, pick it up and go and fix it if it needed repairs or something. So he's going to drive it into the goat paddock, drop it. When people ask me what makes good goat toys, everybody always assumes these wooden spools are awesome. And for the short term, they kind of are, but over time and exposed to the weather, they literally explode into these scattered pieces of wood. And then you got, okay, that's scary. Frozen. And you've got these nuts and bolts and metal and gosh, this is, Everything about this screams danger when it comes to goats and what they can get themselves into and hurt by. So we're going to clean this up and get their whole little goat living room set up. What do you think? It's funny how big it looked when you were making it. It looked so oversized and huge and now it's out here and it's like, wow, well, it looks yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty big. It's eight feet wide, three feet deep, four foot skids. That's... I think they're gonna be able to jump up onto the couch ground. That's up to, oh yeah, they'll be able to do it. These goats are crazy, why don't we let them out? I know they're goats, well, because they need breakfast. Well, that's true too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... It's high, well, the whole theory was, and this is set up not the way I designed it. My original design was couch, love seat, end table so kitty cornered meaning the the table is the lowest the chair is the next one and the couch is the next one so making that chair here well creating a rearrange yeah. and have this gap be a little smaller right. but i just want to make sure two goats can squeeze through there and nobody gets right injured yeah and my theory was too to make it look the cutest from the driveway so when we walk up and down the driveway we look in and not having the back of that chair facing the driveway and just having it like here. Yeah. So the problem is with that theory is I don't want Twix and, and Thunder who are known to run and barrel roll into things yeah. and knock them over like the hay feeder. <laughs> yep. um, I don't want them to have access to full force hitting the, hitting the back of that couch yeah. and tipping it. I'm not, I get it. Tipping factor is a concern. The skids are here and the other thing we can do, and I thought about this, we can take some of those big heavy rocks from either over there or from over here and place them like from here to here right on like make it a combination yeah. couch rock setup and that provides more weight and more stability it's an option but i think they're gonna like it who's gonna be the first go down it Hi. Oh, all right. We got a little more to pick up. Yeah. Breakfast, cool. and then they're coming out. Breakfast for them. Yeah. I haven't had I, breakfast yet. I haven't either. <laughs> all right.
so let's open the door and see who's gonna be going on the couch. Well, Pi is first out of the gate. Go, Pi! It's like a three-way tie. Yeah, that was pretty much a tie. Oh, good boy, Pie. Well, they like that one. No right. couch potatoes yet. Who can do it? Who can do the couch? What do you think, Thunder? Yeah. Come on, you can jump into hay feed or you can jump into that. Not a problem. Oh, Roman That's good. Tried Roman to go tried over the top. from the backside. Okay, Rome. Wow, Pops. Queen of the Pops table. Right. And do we have to move the coffee table closer to the couch? Or do we purposely leave it this far away? Poppy says this is my coffee table. Yep. Back off. She's trying to eyeball it. And somebody's just got to get a running start to it. Okay, about half a second to figure it out once you're up here. Yes, Chanel. Yes! Not a problem. That wasn't an issue. Not at all. a problem at all. And the smallest, and the one. smallest one. Oh, and somebody's underneath. Who was that? That was Poppy. Hey, hey. And Stella's jealous. Oh, so oh. oh Olivia's coming. It was. Olivia, you see the playground? really liked it. Um, we had kind of a three-way tie. Thunder, Chanel, and Billy, I think, were the top three who all went up on the coffee table at the same time. And it looks really stable. It's not wiggling around. It's They're jumping. Not full force, but I think this is going to do, and they seem pretty happy with it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time on Simon Says Farms kid could they have like really heard it and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see yeah possibly yeah, could have heard that's my uh that's my calendar appointment so i gotta go <laughs> <laughs>